So this is an example of LOC based estimation. We have already known about the steps. We'll apply it here. First of all, we have to write the project scope. In this scope, we'll write different uh, narrative or statements. And th with these uh, statements, we will try to find out how many functions will be made. And con consequently, the line of codes we have to write. So start with the scope, then we do the sizing, function point and LOC. And then we have various expression. We'll put these ex the expression in this FP and LOC values in that and try to find out the effort, cost and time duration. So this is how the steps will be taken. The example we are taking is there is a software package. This is to be developed for a CAD or computer aided design application for the mechanical components. Okay. The software has to execute on a desktop uh, workstation and it has to interface with various computer graphic in peripherals like the mouse, like the digitizer, it will have a high resolution color display, laser printer and even the plotter and there are various others. So first thing first for any estimation is the project scope. Now just ask from the user what do you want. And write the scope. Now you are writing the scope. It is first draft so it is not bounded. For example, not bounded means I will go that day to this one and do that thing. So this, these are kind, kind of unbounded uh, sentences or narrations. You have to fix it and you will make it bounding. So let me tell you again this is the project. For that what we have to do? We have to write a scope. Now this is this preliminary draft scope. It is unbounded now. The mechanical CAD software will accept two or 3D, three dimensional geometric data for a, from a designer. So input will be this one. The designer will interact and control the CAD system through a user interface that will exhibit characteristics of good human machine interface design. The user interface and control facilities we are talking about. And all geometric data and other supporting information will be maintained in a CAD database. So we are talking about a database management. Design analysis modules will be developed to produce the required output, which will be displayed in various uh, devices. And then we have the software. This will be designed to control and interact with peripherals devices that include mouse, scanner, laser, printer and plotter. So here we have to have a peripheral control function and in between we see the design analysis module also. Now every sentence what is written here in the project scope need to provide a concrete detail and quantitative bounding. So we have to bound it with certain uh, quantitative analysis and then see how many functions we can find out. That is every sentence have to be bounded. It has to provide proper detail. For example, let us take the example of good characteristics of good human machine interface design. What does it mean? We have to bound it. Or what will be the size and sophistication of this CAD database? So we have to think about database management also. We have computer graphics display facilities. We have 3D geometric analysis. We have 2D geometric analysis. These are all the functions that will come out from here. Okay. Now let us assume that this scope, all the sentences have been bounded. We have all these. We have refined them. We have finally found what are the functions we need to ponder upon, deliberate upon and then we'll make these functions. And these functions will be the basis of the sizing. Scope all have already been done. And then refinement to sizing. So after further refinement, major software functions are identified. So for this, let us see here. These are the major functions. If you read that scope again for the problem, user interface and control facilities, it is clearly given in there, in this scope. So UICF you can call it. So there will be some estimated line of code. And this has come from where? From various decomposition technique and historical data. For example, we have made this function, for example, database management. 
we are saying 3350 lines of code has to be written these are estimated line of code so following the decomposition technique we found out these functions estimation table we have developed and there will be a range of line of code which are estimated to develop the each function that this function will take this line this function will take this line and this function has come from project scope which we have bounded refined and thought of with respect to the function for example now come to uh, our specific say 3d three dimensional geometric analysis 3d ga this is the function now there are three different uh, ideas we have come for example three people are there and they are just saying that uh, the optimistic is saying no 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 only 4600 line of code will work the pessimistic is saying 8600 loc line of code you have to write the middle one the most likely will be 6900 line of codes so these for one function we have to have three multiple inputs from various historical data various inputs where various experience everything so someone is saying okay uh, 8600 line you have to write the optimistic is saying 4600 line of code the most likely is saying 6900 line of code okay so now what to do we will use the three point or the expected value estimation statistical result how to use that we will use this 4600 we will add it and then multiply 4 with 6900 the most likely then add 8600 with this one and we will divide it with 6 this is the final value so we will use 6800 value which you see in that table also this is the estimated line of code and this we will do for each and every function that is listed in this table okay i hope you got the idea scope then sizing then sizing in these three different uh, thoughts and then combine so by summing all these vertically all this uh, loc common uh, column when we add this the total line of code which we are estimating is 33200 So thirty-three thousand two hundred lines of code we have to write. Okay. Now we are arrived at this, and when we review the historical data, that organizational average productivity of this type of system of CAD system, computer aided design system, we found that the result is six twenty LOC per per month per month. So in a month. a person month pm pm is person month that in a person month a one one guy in one month will write 620 codes let us say that so let us say that the labor cost or the burden labor rate is 8000 per month 8000 dollar this is the cost so what will be the cost per line of code see you have already uh, the given values 33200 lines of code you have estimated you know by past 620 loc per month 8000 is the dollar so what you have to do is just divide this amount 8000 with this uh, 620 620 so what will be the cost of one line so 12.9 or 13 dollar is the cost per line of code the cost per line of code is 13 dollar 8000 divided by 620 which is loc per month got from historical data now you see this loc estimate and the historical productivity data what will be the total estimated project cost how do you know how do you compute this you know one line one line of code is costing 13 dollar there are 33200 lines so the total cost will be 431000 Or you can say four thirty one thousand dollars. And what about the person month? How do you compute it? So this is the cost. Okay, this is in dollars. So when you have to compute the person month, the effort is all always computed in person month. This is the unit of effort. Person month is one person. How much work he does in one month? So these are number of uh, line of codes three three two zero zero. and you just divided with uh, this 620 loc per month 
So all the computation which I have done is just by using the units. I know which unit will come where. Then only you can easily find out. So this 33200 divided by 620 is going to be 53.5. Let us take it as 54 person months. So this is how we estimate on the basis of LOC.